All right, now that we have Final Cut Pro open and everything, um, the tip has for color grading in Final Cut Pro. And you, if you you know care about color grading and you use Final Cut Pro, you know that there's no adjustment layers at all. And you have to either make your own or go download something from someone else or do anything like that. But I found a better way to do it. I'm actually just gonna go and find a clip to color grade real quick because basically what it is, is you copy and paste the color grade to everything else and then you can adjust all the other clips separately to what you want it to look like instead of having just one adjustment layer for the ones that you want and then having to redo it or whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna do my color correcting and everything on the first clip and then I'll show you what I mean by this is better than adjustment layers. This is the basic, you know, what I want it to look like for all of them. So basically you go and click copy, you know, uh, command C for copy. And then what you want to do is hold command and select all the other clips like this and go up into edit and then paste attributes. So here, it has all of the edits you did. It shows um, the color, all the effects, basically. All of that is on there, and you're pasting it to all the other 15 clips. So you press paste. And then it is color graded, all of them. They're not all gonna be perfect because it's, you know, I color graded this one clip, and they're not all exactly the same. But all of the color grades are in up here that you've it is done exactly the same you can go and adjust it to fix you know if the shadows are too dark in another one versus this one you just go in and fix it instead of just having one adjustment layer over all of them you just you know send it to all of them and it's just it's super quick and if you don't have adjustment layers like if you haven't downloaded an adjustment layer or something like that this is perfect because this is already in there you just paste attributes to all of them and then bam quick and easy and then you know when you go through and edit them you just adjust them slightly if there's something not right but you can see the majority of it looks pretty perfect there's i can't really see anything wrong with any of the clips um everything looks perfect except for like this one which it, the lighting is different so this works great for you know if you have a whole sequence that's happening in a specific area and the lighting's not changing a whole lot then you can get all of it done and just do it on the one clip and put it on all of them and it's perfect. And then just on specific places where the lighting changes and then you know you can do the same thing for the next group of clips that look similar to each other. But I don't even think there's much to do. I think these are a little, the highlights are a little high on some of them. But other than that, it's pretty good. And that's that's the tip. I just I just learned this, and I decided that I could not hold it in any longer, and I needed to needed to share it. So if you didn't know this, then you're you're welcome. And if you did know this, then I hope you just enjoyed this short film I put at the beginning of this to color grade, just to test it out. I'm gonna finish color grading this, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. Click on this one right here, and it's it's gonna be an awesome video.